Hola mis serenitas, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chiquita Serenita and today we're doing a review tutorial and swatches of Morphe's 18R palette. It's an artistry palette. It comes um, like this in the box, right? It is called Feeling Rosy it, and they have several of these artistry palettes. If you know what Morphe and <laughs> you go on their website, they have the the bare one, which is the neutral one, they have the blowing, what was it? The blow me, blew me away or something like that, the blue one. Um, I own the Sunset Beats one, I own the Talking Flirty, I own the Making Bank. Talking Flirty is mainly purples and pinkish, orangey tones, I think. And then the Sunset Beat is, oh my god, I love that Sunset Beat. That one's more burgundy, orangey, yellow tones. And then, and the Making Bank is mostly greens, grungy yellows and stuff like that. So I think those are the three ones that I do own. I don't have the blue one and I don't have the neutral because you guys know I don't really gravitate towards neutrals. There was a point in time that I did want to buy it, but then I saw that on Ulta they switched the packaging. They had cardboard packaging to begin with on all of these, right? And then they switched them to plastic packaging. So this one, the 18R, comes in cardboard packaging, just like my Talking Flirty one. And I wanted to do a comparison of those, so we will be doing a comparison of swatches, like, you know, where I put one right here. And that's after we're going to do the swatches from this palette. We're going to compare them. Because they do kind of look similar in a way. <laughs> and then the packaging is pretty much the same for both of them. This is the 18 Talking Flirty, 18F. This is the 18R. Morphe doesn't switch it up. Morphe is pretty consistent with their boring ass packaging that I don't know you guys I don't want I don't want to argue about that. So it's pretty much the same black with the white lettering. They don't change that up. In the back it says eight artistry palette and then it says 18R filling rosy. And then when you open her up, they have the mirror, like they always have the huge mirror, which is a really good size mirror. You can see pretty much your entire face. And then these are the tones in there. Don't ask me if it folds all the way back. I don't fold my, my um, stuff all the way back. I don't like to damage my packaging that way just in case if I ever want to sell them or anything like that. I don't know. I may not like that. I don't know what to tell you guys. There's a lot of YouTubers that don't mind folding them back. I don't want to damage my stuff like that. Now they have the little plastic thing that goes on top. Like I hate that they do this and they continue to do this and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that has complained about this. Because I've seen several others saying they hate it that they do that too. There's like enough room. Don't tell me, Morphe, that there isn't enough room on this palette for you to put the names right here. Just right here. Why? Why not? I don't get it. You keep giving me this plastic thing. I'm forced to keep this. Lord knows you didn't put them in the back at least. So I can't refer to the back. So now, God help me if I lose this thing. <laughs> know any of these names okay so we're gonna start with the swatches I'm gonna start right here in the end I'm gonna go straight down so we get across to the entire palette I'm gonna start with let me get my little sheet I'm gonna start with admire and that one is a straight up sh shimmer it looks like a dual chrome shimmer it looks like a pearl -esk. iridescent one. It's very very sheer you guys let me tell you guys I wanted to use that as my inner corner highlight but after I saw how sheer it was I was like, I don't know if you're exactly like a Super Shock Shadow or you're worse than a Super Shock Shadow. Either way, I'm not giving you the time of day right now because we ain't got time for that, okay? I just want to slap something on there and get going. <laughs> Next, we have Favorite, and Favorite is another shimmer, like just like the first one. They, this one's more like a pale rose, and it has this very iridescent sheen to it. It's still very pretty. I'm going to give you guys another swatch. But I ended up not using that one either. I think I ended up using that one at first with my eye look. And then I took it off because I didn't like how it looked. It sort of like stood out too much to the point where it didn't really mesh in with the... It didn't play well with the other kids, okay? So I took it off and then I added something else on there. And then you have Secret Glance. And this is a matte. It looks like a peach tone matte, honestly. A little bit of fallout in the pan. And obviously these are two, these are two swatches because you have to build them up. Then you have uh, Cutie Pie and Cutie Pie is a shimmer. It's another peach 
tone shimmer just like this one but this one has more of a iridescent sheen to it and this is more like a true shimmer so very very light that first row is definitely light i would say those first two four colors because the other two are not that light and i think the rest of them work for my skin tone or darker it works so you have now such a tease and this one is that i would call it between a nude um brown peach tone almost and then that's one swatch and this is two a little bit of kick up in the pan too so like this one obviously is not very dark but i can see myself using it as a transition shade i think that it's a good color for that you know it, obviously it's not the main color you want to wear on your face especially if you're my skin tone i don't think she'll show up much to the party but like i said as a transition shade I can use her. <laughs> Next you have Love Letter. Honestly, this one is a berry tone matte. It reminds me of that shade Love Letter in the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Renaissance palette. <laughs> it does remind me of it. Like, why would they name it the same name, though? This is another swatch, and it does sort of look kind of patchy, but I don't know. I didn't use that one today, so I wouldn't know what to tell you guys. I think it should be okay though. In the next row we have See You Later and See You Later is another berry tone matte but obviously it's a it's a lot little bit lighter. I use this one on me and um, she came out. You just have to build her up. So that's one. This is two swatches. Does kind of look patchy but I can tell you guys straight off the bat that might be just arm swatch versus eye performance and I had no problems with her. She did have to be built up a little bit but she blended out perfectly. First crush is a shimmer. This is like a metallic. Ooh, it's a metallic berry red tone. That is so freaking pretty. Next we have Lucky You and this is another metallic but this one is a metallic shimmer um, rose tone pink. You guys see the difference, right? That one, I used it right here, and it is such a beautiful color. That's why I'm so bummed. I feel like they should have added another one just like that, but a matte form of that. Then you have Lunar Lover. This is a very hard color to explain because I want to say it's a brown with this hint of rose in it, but at the same time, it kind of looks like a taupe, so <laughs> maybe it's both. I don't know. You and Me is a dark matte brown little bit of fallout that one is super pigmented I had a little bit of fallout on my face from that color um, that was the only color that I used today that I had fallout on my face so it is powdery it is sort of um dry feeling formula in the pan as I was swatching it so and then right now as I'm looking at it it does have this tiny bit of patching it's not a big deal i don't think i had problems with blending out yeah i don't think i had it you guys me time is that purple shimmer that i told you guys that has like two different micro glitters in it it looks like it has like this pink and then dark purple thing going on now that i'm swatching it it does look like a dark purple grayish tone it's still pretty i mean that's kind of random in a rose tone palette but to have a photo purple in there but I'm not hating it. <laughs> That's a pretty color. In the next row, um, I, we have Final Summer Fling. Summer Fling is a shimmer. It is a pink shimmer. So it's like a pearless pink shimmer. Ooh, it kind of looks like a dual chrome now that I'm looking at it, you guys. It has this pink purplish shift. You can't really see it on the camera, but in real life, you kind of see it. But either way, it's a pretty color. Then we have You Like Me, and You Like Me is a matte movie tone that's one this is two super light you guys but on someone lighter than me I think that would look so pretty as a transition shade I don't think it would work for me or at least if it did I would have to put a really really good um eyeshadow base on there to get it to pop and then we have the glitter over here that's called up all night I'm just going to put the glitter on the inside of my arm, my hand, because, you know, glitters don't really swatch really good. But it is just like a really refined gold glitter. This is, look at what's left on my finger. <laughs> it's not a, it's not a, like a extraordinary, obviously, glitter, right? Something that 
I can't find in my in my already my collection, but I would still want to give you guys a swatch of it. Then you have Day Date, and this one just reminds me of a uh, the same thing that I just watched earlier. It's like a rosewood brown. It's just a darker version of this one right here. So I'm gonna give another swatch to it too, just so you guys could see. Those are it right here. They're like only maybe one tone difference between them. And then we have uh, Text Me, and Text Me is such a pretty color. It is so pretty. It's hard to describe, you guys. It's just this very buttery, soft um, shimmer, and it is like this rosewood brown. It has these little very um, goldish sheenness to it, like a gold sheen. I don't know. It's very hard to describe, but it's a pretty, pretty color. And then last, you have Singles Day, and Singles Day is that one purple shimmer that I told you guys down there. Um, I'm just going to put it on the inside of my hand again because I ran out of <laughs> room over here. Look how plum purple that is. Just that berry tone color. I love, love, love that one. And I think I should try swiping it up here just to have it on my arm because later on when I give you guys comparison, you're not going to be able to see it. So that's all the swatches, you guys, for this palette. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the tones from the Flir Talking Flirting palettes, because these are the ones from the Rose one, right? These are it. And I'm going to put all the ones from the Talking Flirting, and we're just going to go like this so you guys can get an idea if you think it looks alike, right? To me, it doesn't, but we'll see. So let me do that, okay? Okay, you guys, so just as a reminder, this is the one from the rosy tone, the 18R, right? The feeling rosy one, because um, I don't want you guys to mix it up. <laughs> and then these are the ones from the 18F Talking Flirty palette. So obviously the new one's on the bottom, okay, and the old one's on top. So Talking Flirty's up here, and Feeling Rosy is down here. But like, as you guys can see, I don't think they look alike to me, honestly. I think they have some kind of similarities in a way, like the darker tones right here on this side compared to this side, right? But obviously from the lighter end, like, they just don't compare to me, honestly. And uh, if you were to ask me which one I find to be more of my favorite, I would probably say the Talking Flirty one. This one. Because it just has more tones. See how it has more um, darker skin friendly? <laughs> because... The, the lightest ones in here are still workable for people who have darker skin tones. You know, tan to dark skin. This one, it definitely, you, we can use these ones right here. But when it comes to like these light, light ones right here, I don't know. It could go either way, you know? I could totally see someone um, using it with a base, like an eyeshadow base. I could totally see that. But like by itself, I don't know. <laughs> so... I'm going to let you guys go if you guys want to see how I created this look today. Just stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so for my first color, I'm, I went in with this one for my transition shade. It's called See You Later. It's like a berry tone matte. It's very, very pretty. It builds up very nicely, so you do have to apply it more than once, but it builds up beautifully. So that is the one you guys are going to see me use. So for my next color, I went in with this shimmer right here. It kind of looks like a lavender grayish tone. It is called Lunar Lover. Um, I don't know. I liked it. <laughs> Even though it's covered, it's pretty much covered with the glitter that I added. When I first put it on, I was like, that's still a pretty color anyways. You don't have to add the glitter that I use. Obviously, you guys know if you watch me for a while, I just tend to love glitter. So you don't have to. You can go totally with just that color and it looks the perfect the look comes out nice either way, so that is what you guys are going to see me do. So for the next color that I used, I used this dark brown matte right here that's called You and Me. And <laughs> I'm laughing because every time I read You and Me and automatically that part in the movie from Monsters Incorporated was like, You and me, me and you, both of us together. <laughs> Like that popped in my head randomly, you guys. I'm <laughs> just weird like that. So I'm basically going to put it right here and across and then all the way down here. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do. So 
So for the color that I used right here on my bottom, I went in with this shimmer shade that's called Lucky You. It is like a, I want to call it like a Barbie pink shimmer. It's very pretty. I basically rotated, try to put it in with a brush and it didn't work. The brush didn't pick it up really good. I didn't try a wet brush, so that might have been the problem. I ended up having to go in with my finger, which did so much better than the brush. <laughs> but you can see it right here. It's just like this little bright pink and I basically, you know, applied it all on my bottom lash, uh, mixing it into that brown that's already there. So that is what I'm going to do. Okay, you guys, so if you guys wanted to leave, right? I'm, I haven't done my inner corner highlight because I'm about to add the glitter. So if you guys wanted to leave it like that, right? Just leave it like this. You could totally do that, right? It doesn't need the glitter. It's all on its own. It's a pretty, pretty look either way. But since I'm a huge glitter girl, <laughs> I went in with the glitter in here that is called... Um, up all night it's called it's a gold glitter I can tell you guys right off the bat that it was kind of hard to work with at first because it was super dry I had to really like dig in there in order to get that adhesive going because it already has adhesive in it so I had to like really swirl it around really really bad just to like get it to pick up and eventually yeah I did like mix up the formula enough to like have to just I patted it on in that general area, you know, right here between just basically covering all that one that's already there and not that brown. So that is what you guys are going to see me do. But like I said, you don't have to do this step if you don't want to. So for my inner corner highlight, you guys, I want to just mention that first I tried to go in with favorite right here. And it didn't work out. It just created... um it didn't mesk well with those colors that I already had. It just made it look weird. So I had to take that off. And then I went in with um, Text Me right here. And that just made like a better overall mesk. I mean, obviously it's not a bold highlight like what I'm, I like. But there weren't a lot of options as far as I wanted either a blinding highlight. Which you do have a white in here. But technically this formula is like a, a shimmer with glitter. And then at the same time, it looks like one of those just sheer um, ones, like a super sharp shadow. And I didn't like it, so I didn't apply it, right? I don't even know if you guys could see it because on the opposite side of my arm. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get you guys a better swatch. This sucks. Um, yeah, it's like very sheer look. Very, very light. That's why I didn't go with that one. I was like, you know what? Just forget it. I'll go in with Text Me, and that's the one that I use. So that's the one you guys are going to see me use with my finger. So that's it for the look, you guys. Let me go put on some mascara. And um, I have my BH Cosmetic Black Power Pencil in my waterline. So let me do that, and I'll be right back to give you guys a close-up. So this is the finished eye look today, you guys. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, I love these tones. You guys already know. I love these type of mauve berry tones. And if it has glitter in it, hey, I'm using it. I don't care. <laughs> so let me back you guys out and give you guys my final thoughts on this palette. Okay, you guys, so I'm back, and I honestly like this palette. I mean, it reminded me, honestly, when I first saw it on the online, I was like, okay, that looks so much like Talking Flirty palette, which we're going to do comparisons because I have the Talking Flirty palette. I actually did buy that a long, long time ago. But other than that, they don't really look alike. I mean, the other one's more purple-based. <laughs> I looked at it earlier. I was like, okay. They, I mean, they have similar vibe going. Yeah, I can see that. And they have some, maybe one or two shades that are like, they look exactly alike. Other than that, this one is really more rosy tone. I love that they added those browns in there. And they have this little random little, I think it looks like a, honestly to me, like a caramel yellow almost. <laughs> it's just this beige, just very beige color. And then they have this, of course, I love this vivid um, pink. I would have wanted them, because it is a rose palette, to add another similar color like this, but on a matte side, you know, because this is a shimmer. I would have loved for them to add that because I feel that these two right here are very similar except one's a matte, one's a, a shimmer, right? Um, I don't get this one because it's super, super pink, but it's a shimmer pink and it looks like a pearless shimmer pink. I don't know. I don't get that one. The top row, apart from these two, is sort of debatable because 
one, I don't need that one for me, honestly. And then these two are, sh those three are shimmers, so I let that pass. But first and second, like these two rows right here, I love those ones. I just would have been so much happier. These right here are so similar in hue, it's ridiculous. This one just has more of pink, uh, purple glitter in it. And this one is just a true shimmer, mauvey purple. I don't know. It's not a bad palette. I'm just saying you have to work around those things where it obviously doesn't have enough bright rose ones. Should have been a, a lot more color to it, I guess. This one is perfect for people who are on the more neutral with a little bit of color added inside. Um, I go either way. Like, I can go, as long as I have some neutrals in there for transition shades, then I can go, you know, colors, obviously. And I love the glitter. The glitter's not nothing out of this world. It's not something that I have don't have in one of my other palettes, honestly. But when I saw that, I, was, I had to rub it on my eye because I, I'm a glitter person. And I love when they add glitters. So other than that, I'm going to let you guys go. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And until next time, stay warm, stay blessed, and stay magical. Bye, you guys.